Well, let's uh, turn to Ukraine, first of all, where seven people, including a six-year-old child, have been killed and 90 others wounded in the northern Ukrainian city of Chernihiv following a Russian missile strike. Uh, with me now is our military analyst, Sean Bell. Good to see you again. Uh, Sean, what do we know about this attack? The attack on Chernihiv uh, happened this morning. What we understand is there was a ballistic missile attack by the Russians on this Ukrainian city, hit the city square. Uh, we understand there were seven killed, including a six-year-old child. The numbers of injured have escalated as the day gone on. It's now 90 wounded, including 12 children and 10 police officers as well. Uh, President Zelensky released some, this video out on uh, Telegram, but also provided a bit of narrative to it and said it was an ordinary Saturday for lots of Ukrainians uh, wandering around the city and that was turned into a complete disaster, uh, a day of loss and pain, he said. Now, there's no evidence there was a military target here at all, but in, in, as ever, as we get more information, we'll let you know. But this happened on a day also where Ukraine claimed that there were 17 drone attacks across the country, which they claim they shot down 15 of them. Uh, Russia claimed there was a Ukrainian uh, drone attack against Crimea, which again they claimed was shot down. And literally today, we've heard that uh, Nov Novograd um, airfield, which is an airfield northwest of um, Moscow, uh, a Russian airfield, there's apparently an attack there and there's a military aircraft apparently been, uh, been badly damaged. All of that we haven't had verified, but we'll bring that to, to the viewers as soon as we get some details. Now, let's talk about the counter-offensive in the East specifically. Uh, Washington's had something to say. They have. It's a rare intervention here because the Ukrainian objective is to try to take land, um, that's take territory back. Um, one option is to actually move south here and actually push, and that's the main effort, trying to hit the south coast around Melitopol. Um, but a US official speaking off the record and, you know, it was alleged to have said that uh, actually the US confidence was now reducing that the Ukrainians would actually be able to make it down to the south coast. Now, whilst this is only one report and it's a guy off the record, almost certainly this reflects a broader concern into Internationally, about the lack of progress uh, in the in the conflict, and although Russia, the Ukraine has done really, really well at attacking Russia's ammunition dumps uh, and Moscow. The reality, the metrics of success here are all about territory gained. We're ten weeks into the uh, offensive, very limited change in the front line. It's going to be a really crucial four to six weeks for Ukraine if they're to make any form of progress with this offensive. Yeah, in it for for the long haul. Uh, thank you, Sean. For now, we'll see you a little later. Thanks a lot.